gorgeous people. Welcome to my channel, Being a Carer with Moa Kes. My name is Kesena Akwara Ati, a health and social care trader. To all you old and new returning subscribers who keep coming back to watch, like my videos and leave your comments. Oh my good God. Thumbs up to you all. You are just amazing. Yeah. And hey, hey, if you're just watching this channel for the first time, or you just tumble on it by chance, uh -huh. what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, yeah? And click on the like button. And of course, don't forget that notification bell as well. So whenever I upload a new video, you will be the first to know. Also, follow me on Instagram, care by case, TikTok, care by case, and Twitter, care by case. And I will see you there. Today, like I said, this is a month of manual handling. You ask for the videos, here they come. Said hot. All right? Now, today we're going to be looking about how to use the return. It's called the return 700, um, 7500. What you call 7500. Yeah? Again, it has to be assessed by the old team who has to tell you who how many people to use it. If it's two carers or one carer. And of course, before you use any equipment, manual hacking equipment, you want to check the equipment itself. First of all, let's start with the brakes. Are they working? And like I said, please don't wear shoes, wear trainers, and they're the best footwear you can use as a carer. Senior carer, support worker, trainers are the best. Now, the brakes are working, so that is lovely. Now, I want to check the straps. Are they, are they good? Are they breaking up? No, they are fine. So, they are good to go. Okay? So, we have, uh, I have my wonderful colleague here, Chizoba. Chizoba, say hello to your friends out there. Hello, friends. <laughs> Okay, so let's get started. Now, like I said, let's assume she's about this just one carer to care for her because she can bear her weight. Yeah, so let's start it off. Yeah, okay, so <clears throat> remember, this is not for transportation, unlike the Sarah study, this is for to make an agonized turn. All right, not to transport them anywhere. All right, so she's about could you please put your feet on the plate for me, please? All right now look at the knee pads they must her knee must touch the knee pads okay now the brakes on we don't want it wobbling or moving about okay um chisel could you put your hand on the bars for me please are you comfortable with that yes. can you stand up for me please okay now what does this say it says this says down and this is on her waist okay this is to hold the bomb in all right so we move this out of the way we strap her in. We have the Velcro. We just put it here. That's good. And then we take the strap, put it in through the little rod here by the bar, and then you click it in. And it has to be tightened enough to hold a uh, steady. You okay, darling? Good. All right. Hold on for me, please. Don't let hands your hands go off. So breaks up, then I turn her. Remember I said, you have to turn at angle 90. Okay? Now you don't move it forward, you don't move it backwards. So we add uh, angle 90. So what I do, I bring the chair closer. Okay? Now, you want to put the brakes back on and unstrap this. Take this off. Thank you, darling. And then can you sit for me, please? There you go. Can you take your hands off the bar, please? Thank you. Brakes off. Can you take your feet off the plate? Thank you. And there you go. So, hello. Enjoy that? I enjoyed it. Lovely. Remember this, guys. No matter what the matter is, you matter so much more. See you in my next video. Bye. Oh, wow.